Science Maths channel. I'm now answering question number two from the June 2024 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from Edexcel International A level. This question here is about series, and the first part of the question is it's all about arithmetic series actually. So it says in an arithmetic series. So, first of all, we should understand what an arithmetic series is. An arithmetic series is one where the terms change from term to term such that each term is a fixed difference from the term before it. So either you add the same number each time or you subtract the same number each time. So the difference between each of the terms is the same difference. So they told us that the sixth term is 2 and the sum of the first 10 terms is negative 80. So for this series, find the value of the first term and the value of the common difference. So they've told us that the sixth term which we'll call u6, is equal to 2. And the sum of the first 10 terms, we call S10, is equal to negative 80. So here we have to employ the two formulae that we learn, or two of the formulae that we learn for arithmetic series, which is in the formula book. And one of them is dealing with the term. And you're looking for a particular term. And that is, the nth term is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. That's if you want to find a particular term. Right, so in this case we have u6, so we have when n equals 6, we have that. And the second thing is the sum of the terms. So the sum of the first n terms of the series is given by the formula n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Again, this is in the formula sheet as well. We also have another formula for this, which is n over 2 times a plus l, which I don't think will apply in this situation, but these two formulae are both used. This is where you know the first term and the last term and the number of terms. So in this case, um, we know the sum of the first 10 terms is negative 80. So from this, we can form an equation. The sum of the first 10 terms is one negative 80. So we know that that's equal to negative 80. Let's just write it down here. Okay, one second. I've already written it down. Okay, so now, from the first bit of information, we can form an equation. U6 equals 2. Okay, so the 2, which is the 6th term, is equal to a plus n, which is n is, five, is 6, so that's going to be plus 6 minus 1 times d. So this leads to an equation uh, that a plus 5d equals 2, basically. a plus 5d is equal to 2. So that's one equation that we formed from the information given. a plus 5d equals 2. And s10 equals negative 80, so negative 80 is equal to n over 2, which is... 10 over 2, which is 5. So n is n, n here is 10. In this case, n is 6. In this case, n is 10. So you have, using this formula, you have 10 over 2 times 2 times a, which we don't know, plus n minus 1, which is 9, because the 10th term, 9 minus 1, times d. In fact, I'll write it in, in this form so that the steps are shown, plus 10 minus 1 times d. All right, so we have, and uh, that's negative 80. So you have 5 times 2a, that's 10a. And you have 5 times 9d, 5 times is 45. So 10a plus 45d is equal to negative 80. All right, so this equation can be simplified a little bit first. Let me just write that neater. And let's just make sure we haven't made a silly mistake here. So you have 5 times 2, which is 10, 10a. We have 5 times 9, which is 45, so 45d. Okay, so you can notice here that each of these are divisible by 5. Right? Each of these are divisible by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2a. So 10a divided by 5 is 2a. 45d divided by 5 is 9d. Okay. And negative 80 divided by 5 is 14. Is that right? Yep, negative 14. 5 times 1 is 5, 5, 5 times 10 is 50, 5 times 4 is 20, no, it's 15, it's 15 actually, it's 16, 16, 16, because you need 30. Okay, so that's 80 divided by 5, which is 30. We could have done that actually a bit quicker than this. Okay, we could have done that a bit quicker by just, in this case, dividing both sides by 5 from here. We would have got this anyway, so no problem, we got there anyway in the end. Okay, we would have just got there quicker. So we have these two equations now which you can use and solve simultaneously. So we have a 
plus 5d equals 2. And here we have 2a plus 9d equals negative 18. So if I take this first equation and I multiply it by 2. So I'm going to take equation 1 and multiply it by 2. That's going to give me 2a plus 10d equals 4. And if I do equation, call this equation 3, equation 3 minus equation 2. If I subtract them, the a's disappear. I've got 10d minus 9d, which is d, and 4 minus minus 18, okay, which is going to be 22. Okay, so now that means the first term is going to be, if we can see from here, a plus 5d equals 2. So a is going to be 2 minus 5d. So that's 2 minus 5 times 22. That's going to be 2 minus 110. Okay, which is going to be minus 108. So the first term is negative 108. At first I was a bit hesitant there because it says d is 22 and I was kind of assuming that the common difference will be negative. But you see here, the terms are increasing from a very negative value. That's why the sum of the first 10 terms is negative 80. Okay, the sixth term is only two. So all the, lots of terms are negative, so that's why. All right, so it works out fine, I think. So it says, find the value of the first term and the value of the common difference. So we found the first term is equal to negative 108, and the common difference is equal to 22. Okay, so there we have our series. And we can test it in case you're not sure. You can say, okay, the, the sixth term has to be equal to 2. So if we put this in our, if we put this in our form, formula, minus 108 plus 5 times 22. Okay, that's going to give you uh, 100 and, it's going to be 110, and that's going to be minus 108, which gives you 2. Term is two. Okay, so we can see that we've got the right thing. So at first I was a bit hesitant when it said d equals 22. I stopped for a few seconds just to think about it. And that is because in the beginning I was kind of assuming that the common difference would be negative, but thinking about it, no, it doesn't have to be because the sixth term, the, the sixth term is two, right? And the sum of the first 10 terms is minus 80. That means a lot of terms are negative, as we can see from here. So it works out just fine. Okay, so it's just thinking a bit before I wrote the answer down to make sure in case I'd made a silly mistake, but everything is fine. Okay, now for part B, it says, hence find the smallest value of n for which the sum of the first n numbers is greater than 8,000. Okay, so in this case, um, I always like to use equations. So I like to say, let's find when, let's find the, the sum of the, the value of n for which the sum of the first n terms is equal to, equal to 8,000. All right. So we have n is what we have to find. We have, remember the sum of the first n terms is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. It can be found in your formula sheet. So in this case, a is negative 108. d is 22. The common difference is 22. Right, so we want to find when n over 2, so we don't know what n is, n over 2 times 2 times a, so it's 2 times minus 108 plus n minus 1, n minus 1 times d, which is 22, is equal to, we'll find out first when it's equal to 8,000. Okay, so I can multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this 2. In fact, I can just multiply this 2 with this. So this is going to become minus 108n, because the 2 comes with this. And that's going to become plus 11n times n minus 1, because n over 2 times 22 gives you 11n times uh, n minus 1 is equal to 8,000. So it seems, seems like we're going to get a quadratic. 11n squared minus 11n minus 108n minus 108n. And um, you're going to have minus 8,000 equals 0. 
So 11 n squared, and you're going to have minus 100, and that's going to be 29. No, 119. N minus 8,000 equals zero. So we want to solve this quadratic equation, and I'm pretty sure that the most sensible thing to do here would be to use the quadratic formula, just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. 11 n squared minus, that's 100, is 108 plus 11, is minus 119n minus 8000 equals zero. So I'm going to use a quadratic formula. So n equals minus b, so it's going to be 119, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 119 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 11 times c, which is negative 8000. All of this over 2 times a, 2 times 11. So this will give us our values of n. So n equals... Okay, you should show that you use a correct formula or complete the square. I think correct formula is way um, easier here. 119 plus the square root of 119 squared minus 4 times 11 times negative 8,000 divided by 22. And that gives you 32.914, 32.914. And the other value it gives you is, if we change that to a minus sign here, it gives you minus 22.096. So of course, we cannot have a negative value. So what we have to do is you have to think, which is the first value of n for which the sum will first be um, greater than 8,000? Okay, so of course it's going to be um, the one after this, which is the 33rd term. The one before this will just just under 8,000. The 32nd term will give you a sum that's just under um, 8,000. And you can test your answer. You can test your answer. You can simply put it into this equation here. Okay, so you can put it into this equation here. You can say, okay, let's try, let's try the 32nd term. It's going to be hopefully just under. 30 to 32 over 2 times 2 times A, so 2 times one um, negative 108. Okay, plus um, 31 times 22. Okay, and that gives you something just under 8,000. If I change the 32 now to 33, so this will become 32 because 33 minus 1 is 32. And then this, I change it also to 33. Okay. And this should be over 8,000. Yeah, so this is the first term that's over 8,000. So you can check your answer um, by your calculator to make sure that's the first term that gives you a sum which is greater than 8,000. Okay. So there's the answer to question number two. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that will appear in the top right of the screen at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of um, series and sequences from you can find in the playlist over here. And from arithmetic series, you can find in the playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.